It's Maria. Thanks for stopping back by my channel. Um, I am starting a series on Work Basket Magazine. I'm doing it on my blog and I will link that in the description box below so you can kind of follow along a little bit there. If you've never seen a Work Basket Magazine or you really have no clue what I'm talking about, um, I love the magazine. They're very old. Well, some of them are very old. Um, and they just have some really fun and different and old fashioned. Some old fashioned. Old fashioned, that's a good word. Um, vintage. I like vintage too. We'll use vintage. We'll use vintage. Vintage recipes and crafts there. Um, or in the magazine. So what I am doing is going through those magazines. I have chosen one month to start out with and I'm going to make a couple of the crafts. I'm going to make a couple of the recipes. So today is going to be work basket cooks right here on my blog. So I am doing ginger cookies from the, the magazines uh, recipe for ginger cookies and um, yeah, like I ended up saying on my blog, I don't really even remember why I decided to do this recipe. I don't particularly care for um, for ginger and definitely not molasses. So yeah, um, it was an experience. So let's just jump into it and yeah, follow along. I would love to see you uh, subscribe to this and stop by my blog and comment there or comment below of what you like, what you don't like. Um, yeah, just let me know. Thanks. This recipe calls for one cup of shortening, one cup of hot water, three teaspoons of soda, which I assume is baking soda, four and a half cups of flour, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of molasses, I used dark molasses, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. Since I am going all vintage, I actually used shortening, which I had when I use when I am seasoning my cast iron skillets. Um, I have not used season, season, ooh, shortening in cooking since I was probably, I don't know, young and cooking with my mother. So I'm just adding the hot water and the baking soda. Again, it just called for soda, so I assumed it is baking soda. It also did not specify, the recipe didn't specify what, um, what kind of brown sugar to use. I had dark on hand and readily available, so that's what I chose to use. Um, and I went ahead and compacted it down the way you're kind of supposed to with, uh, with brown sugar. And here I am searching and searching and searching for the molasses. I don't know where it is. Can you find it? Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> yeah, molasses just smells like stinky socks. I don't remember why I bought it. I think. So I'm just adding the ginger, and now I'm going on to the flour. Um, I'm adding just two, about two cups at a time, and then I start with the stirring. Um, it would have been a lot easier if I had gotten my mixer out, but I opted just to go ahead and do it by hand. Uh, it really kind of works your muscles, so I got my workout for, for the day, I suppose. Um, and that shortening doesn't really break down. Um, it takes a while to break down. It's probably why you use the hot water. That's all I can imagine is the reason for the hot water. Um, but I just kept working it and you will see um, here in a little bit. Um, although you can see some chunks in there, I will pull it out and I will start kind of kneading it with my hands which will warm up 
all of that shortening and will help it melt in. Um, so yeah, and I didn't add that half a cup. I only added the four cups and it's four and a half cups of flour because I knew I would be adding flour as I needed it. So I just added a bunch of flour to that Silo pad. I will link that below just in case you have any interest in, in that. You can cook on it or you can basically do what I'm doing which is kneading on it. I do a lot of bread, um, pizza dough and that sort of thing so it comes in handy. And now I decided not to flatten my cookie dough and cut shapes out of it um, which again this little pad would be really great for that. I just decided that I would just, you know, make balls and put them in the oven. 375 for about 10 minutes and this is what you get. This was the beginning or the first batch. Um, I'm sorry there was a little, I didn't get like them going into the oven. Um, I tasted them and I just don't think they're sweet enough so I decided that I would roll them in sugar. Just give them a little tap down and put them back in the oven. Cookies. What kind of cookies? Cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies. cookies. Some have sugar, some do not. So why don't you grab yourself a glass of milk and have a cookie?